Hey everyone and welcome back to Money Journey. Today we are diving deep into the shiny stock market. In this video I will be sharing my top 5 shiny stocks that I believe offer a strong combination of fundamentals, quality and valuations. These are my personal opinion, not financial advice. So let's explore some of the most promising Chinese investments and discuss what makes them stand out. Remember, it's always a good idea to do your own research before making an investment decision. In number five, we have JD. JD is the biggest e-commerce company in China by sales. They have one of the best logistics infrastructure and team and their management is really great they have been doing a really great job buying back their shares at a discount and increasing their dividends so they are doing a really good job sharing uh, profits with the shareholders one thing i don't like in this company is their business model because i don't like companies with lower margins jd is like a walmart or a costco which has really low margin but their revenue is very sticky which is a great quality for number four i select baidu Baidu is the Google of China. They have great margin, especially free cash flow margin. And it's a company that is really underwhelmed, especially if you uh, take into account their cash and short term investment, which is really high for a company with this market cap. Some things I don't like in Baidu is they are not growing revenues at a great pace and they don't have a really great return on invested capital so that's something i would like to see in a company or in a tech company like baidu in number three we have one of my favorite companies and business model in china which is tencent tencent is the biggest tech company on china it is a company this is that is very diversified they own uh, WeChat app, which is one of their best assets. It is a, um, a app which is like WhatsApp and where you can do payments and other things all in one app. It's a uh, social media as well. So this is a, um, an app that we don't see in the West, for example, and it could be a really great idea and it only works on China and they have plenty of uh, users right there. It is a company that, is, that has really high margins, high returns on investment and a wide mount, which is attributes that I'm always looking for in a company. The What we don't like in Tencent, it is, it's not a company very cheap by shiny standard. We are not paying a big premium. They are paying at a forward P between 15 or 20, which is not high, but for a Chinese company that is not growing like 20%, uh, they are probably not undervalued or they should be close to fair value. So I'll, if this company was cheap as it was some quarters ago, it will be a better investment. But as a company, it is one of the best business model on China, and, but right now it's not trading at the best value. In number two, we have Pinduoduo, uh, the company who owns the Timu, for example. Um, I really love that their revenues are being are exploding. It they were the they were bigger than Alibaba some months ago, but uh, they have. Um, a retraction in their valuation so right now uh, they have recovered already uh, they own the team app which is been growing a lot in europe and the us their business model is great i've told my uh, viewers uh, how pinduoduo works it is a great business model they are not an e-commerce company they are basically the app which connects the the producers with the buyer directly and they just uh, make money doing uh, doing uh, marketing and uh, uh, advertising on their app which is a really great business model they are not like alibaba or jd they are more like google or meta they own the advertising space on their app 
which is a great business model with high margins and a great return on invested capital. Which I don't like in Pinduoduo is that probably this growth and margins might not be sustainable. So there are a lot of fear in this company and in the future, but if they continue to overperform expectation, Pinduoduo might be a great investment for the future, even now that the stock is up like 150% in the last year. And in number one, our top is Alibaba, of course. Alibaba is the Amazon of China. It is a very big company, well diversified, as one of the best management teams on China. It is one of the most undervalued companies on China as well, and one of the best in terms of fundamentals and quality. They have cloud and they are AI leaders, which are two segments uh, that are growing a lot. Uh, they are investing a lot on tech and there are plenty of reports that they are saying they are the lead. They are, they are using their cloud business to selling their products or AI product to companies. And AI will be the future, even on China. Uh, and their international expansion on AliExpress Express is growing a lot and they are expanding a lot. Their Tmall and Tmall business is doing great as well. They have really great margins on their e-commerce business and their cloud and AI segment is growing and in the future they will have great margins on their business and even though everyone is afraid on China, Alibaba is growing at a really great pace, not growing 15 or 12 percent anymore but even though having a really great growth and right now Chinese stocks are recovering so you might be getting interesting on uh, into investing on China and as a, uh, an investor that is really bullish on China uh, I'm continuing interested and even though the stocks are up uh, 20, 30, 40, 50 percent they are still trading under value at, or at a fair price so if you want me to do a stock analysis in any of these stocks just write in the comments I hope you like this video and if you liked it please like and subscribe. See you next time.